Hello, I am Zarkoon, and this is World of Warships Legends. Hello, Dewan. Well, it's about to be April. Long time no see. Were you not here last week on Friday? It's time for the boats. Don't look at me like that, Brutus. It's fine. Brutus is looking at me like I'm a weirdo. Do you just want under the blankies, little dog? Brutus might want to go under the blankets. Why do you say try to have fun with that smiley face? Have you been playing this game? How are the seas? Are they, are they pretty choppy? They usually are. Oh, you haven't been on World of Warships Legends for... Ever since they put this little heart react thing in the chat for two months or so. Okay. That's a while. But, uh, yeah, sometimes you do need to take a break from this game. What are we going to play to start off with? I'll probably take a break from boats after this stream until the update drops on Monday. Well, maybe I'll play it some more over the weekend, but I don't know. Let's, uh, let's play the Schultz. Japanese battleship. Are you asking about the Dyson that was announced in the patch notes, or are you saying I should play a Japanese battleship? Hello, Joey, EJ. EJ3. Not even just EJ3, the EJ3. Key? I suppose I could play that next. It's not a ship that I'm playing too terribly often, to be honest with you, so sometimes that can be good. Mogador? I didn't know anybody played that ship. I haven't seen one of those in... I don't even know how long. When was the last time I saw a... Mogador? Can't even remember. Why does the BB, why does the Temeraire that's in the center of the map ping this little square? Interesting. Oh, how will it go today? I'm glad they're fixing the spawns on this map. Hopefully they fix them in a way where they're actually fixed and improved, because this... Uh, well, not ideal. Let's just put it that way. Now, do we... We probably don't. We probably don't just drive straight into the cap. That would be a bit risky. I think what we'll do is go past this island. See if we spot anything and then maybe get into the cap. Excited for the IJN light cruiser line. I don't know what to expect from that. Minnesota. And Stalingrad. Turn a little bit away from here. Oh. Car not, I see. So that's a lot of cruisers. A lot of cruisers. Or we're probably the only ones spotting. Because I'd like to shoot at that car. No. Maybe I uh, put a little too much lead on the torps. They're not going to hit. I'd like to shoot at the car. No. But it's like there's a Stalingrad and then there's a Minnesota. So I'd probably have to smoke up if I did shoot at the car. No. And then I don't think we have vision of them anymore. It'd be a real problem. Stalingrad just shot, though. Maybe. I I wonder, like... Okay, maybe I don't want to turn that way so much. I wonder if 
These shells can do bad things to the car now. Hmm. Not all that impressive, I'll say. Okay, that was better. That was a lot better. Now they're returning fire. Our DD has captured the... the Bravo Cap. I don't, I don't see a reason to push in toward either of those ships. All three of them are kiting away, so I think we ought to go over to the other side of the map. That's a carrot. That emoji. Hmm. That's not good, but both the enemy DDs went over to the Charlie cap. Interesting. Oh. Well, he ate a torp. So did he. I don't know if that Duncan is gonna... No, he's not. I just... I was not expecting to look over at the chat and see a random carrot. It's just not what you expect to see. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and it's the Mogador. Mogador using go all out skill, perhaps. What a useful smoke screen, by the way. I don't know who put this here, but I appreciate it. Well, I guess that's why people don't play the Mogador, huh? That's some weird torps. There's still two enemy DDs. Schultz and... Schultz and Z44 and Carnot are all in a division together. That's weird. They're all in a division together, and yet the Schultz and the Z44 are all the way over here. And the Carnot is, like, all the way over there. That's crazy. Oh, he beached himself. I think it's probably just Schultz. Oh my god, can I leave the shells right? Probably just Schultz here, though, so... Maybe not just Schultz, still spotted. Other DD, I suppose. Yep. Goodbye, Z44. Oh, the other one died too? What, did he take a torp? Hmm. Kawachi? The hell is that? Is that a tier 3 ship? South Carolina is a tier 3 ship, right? South Carolina is not very good though, is it? Well, I didn't really take the Bravo cap, so I guess I'll take Charlie. Get a little bit of XP. I 
I just don't play down at tier three very much. Yeah, Arkansas is definitely good. I like Arkansas. Get them? I don't know that there's much left to get. One of the enemy teams... Oh, well, there's four of them left, I guess. Minnesota again. Something else here, too. Carnell? Other battleship, maybe? No, it's other battleship. Okay. Good to know. If I shoot Minnesota... Yep. Don't get spotted. Well, why am I spotted now? Oh, because this guy. Duncan, right. He's got a lot of HP. Uh, maybe smoke. Can't let him have all this HP. I'm, I'm the only one spotting this guy. Try this again. I can't be the only one who has vision. Oh, I think, what is that, Stalingrad? Yeah. Duncan's going to be hurting here. Well, I thought he'd be hurting more a lot quicker because of Stalingrad, but yeah, HP's going down. That's what we want. And I don't think... I don't think the win for the Reds is very likely here. Radar. Stalingrad. Oh, whoops. Let's wait. Completely off. Oh, shit. It could have been worse, though. Oh, come on, that didn't kill him. You know, I guess I'll uh, not shoot again, maybe. Jeez. Minnesota is so thirsty for some damage against this destroyer. 14 kilometers away. He's got... Maybe you can't see the Stalingrad, but he's got that Stalingrad to shoot at. Torpedoes? Are torpedoes? Is that like a single Duncan torpedo? I don't think Agincourt really is supposed to be at tier three. I want to say that is a tier 5 ship on the PC, which would mean it really should be a tier 4 in Legends, but for whatever reason, it's tier 3. I think it's uh, obvious that that particular vessel doesn't really fit at the tier. Might as well shoot. I didn't realize we were about to win... Oh, shells don't even hit. Unfortunate. But, 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 but. A decent way, certainly, to start the proceedings here. Always good to get a win. Even better to get uh, top of the leaderboard with 2,500 XP, I suppose. Okay, anyway. 
Uh, what was I going to do next? IJN Battleship. You all are talking about Kawachi, but somebody said Tier 7 Key. We got Yamato on here. What's the reason that we have... Oh, right, because of Long Arm of Justice. But then... We'd have to have Fighter Plane. Or wait, was that... Who do I have as the inspiration? Oh, no, we don't. We don't need a Fighter Plane. It's just shells that travel over 10 km. So we get 12%. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with that. Maybe uh, put uh, a speed flag on there. Oh, Scandinavia, okay. No, oh, Jesus. No DDs. That is not good. That is not good. Oh, yeah, I guess you said you haven't been playing for two months, right? Uh, it's a fairly new map. They added it in maybe the last last update. One before that. I don't know. It's a recent addition. Hello. Is it illness? Probably like completely butchering that, but hello. Okay. Do you think this map is crap? I think the islands are all right. I think it's um, bad that there's no destroyers in this match, though. Want at least two so I can have vision. But what's going to happen is uh, one or two of these cruisers might, or I guess a battleship, one of these big ships is gonna spot with its face and then get the shit beat out of that face. It's usually how it goes. JC Gameplay. Wow. Hello, hello. It's been a long time. Never had fun on this map? I've never had fun in this game. Kidding. I, I have had fun in this game. Sometimes you just really got to search for it. Well, maybe the cruisers are not going to spot with their faces. Vimar's not going to see anything hiding behind the island. Neither is Ibuki. I guess we'll have to spot with our face. What the actual fuck? Does this man think he's a CV? What is he doing? He's still playing. His guns are moving. What the hell? Well, don't question these things. This is World of Warships Legends. It's how it works. He's, he's not AFK. His guns were moving. Fuck. Can I make this turn and not get blapped by a Musashi? Oh, God. I might die now. I might die. I didn't want to have to spot with my face. Don't kill me. Oh, uh, thank, thank Jesus. Okay, but 
Now I'm double fire, and I can't push into that. I'll just die. Can I maybe you're gonna go forward a little? Jesus H Christ, there's a uh this game's gonna end quick. Really? Oh wait. What the fuck is Azuma's bow plating? Can't I overmatch it? Oh my god, the entire enemy team is literally right here. Oh, that's nice. But we're dead. We're dead. Just completely dead. Alright, yeah, that was fucking fun. Well, if only we had had destroyers in this match that could have spotted. Could have spotted these people, so I would have known not to take that corner. But what are you going to do when you take the corner? You run into a Musashi, Schroeder, Azuma, Belfast, another battleship. Terrible. All right, I'll play Amagi then. Sure. Probably get a better game. I got Takagi on there. That's fine. We'll go with that. Amagi and Ki, they're basically the same thing anyway. Ki has torpedoes, but they suck, so... I mean, they don't suck, I guess, but they only have 6km range, and I don't think the angles are that good. I have not found any opportunities to consistently use them anyway. And I do agree with that, that Amagi is just kind of better. Oh boy, Shokaku. Implacable. Fun police. I don't know that that was necessarily a uh, product of the um, map, what just happened there necessarily. Kind of, I guess. But more the fact that there's nobody to gather intelligence data except one of the cruisers. And if the cruiser had tried to... Well, he'd be dead quicker than I was. I, I like the Amagi better, personally. There are people, there are those who disagree. On the other hand, it could be, could be said that the key is a premium tier seven. And, uh, well, if it's a premium tier 7, then it's much better at earning credits than the Amagi is, so there is that, but... Uh, you can send me something relatable? What, did you also have to spot with your face and then your face got smashed? It does happen. It does occur. Why don't you, uh, stop kiting? How about that? Oh, shit. There's a fucking Iowa. Well, maybe I shouldn't, uh... Shot. I thought I was... There's more than an Iowa. There's a Musashi. I suck at this game. What was that, anyway? That wasn't the Musashi, was it? Was that the Iowa? I think that was the Iowa. Jesus. 
Maybe that's what I should have played. Well, our DD took the cap, so... That's good. Is that, uh... Is that Broadside Musashi? Don't shoot at me, though. Yeah, there you go. Bounce your shells off the Amagi's ass. Great. Look at this Chad Oster Gotland. He's like, I'll take Charlie. I'll just move on to the next one. Maybe I should DCP this fire. Ooh, Iowa, Iowa. Vengeance. Vengeance. Enough lead for vengeance. Enough of an angle for not quite. Well, that's Musashi shells. I might die. Got to DCP that one. I don't have any heals left. He's like inviting this. I feel like it's a psychological trap. He's like, present broadside so the Imagi shoots. That way we can shoot back at it. I'm gonna get lit on fire again by this Bayard. Maybe not. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Imagine, imagine if that single salvo had lit a fire. What a tragedy that would have been. Why don't you, uh, why don't you push in a little bit? How about that? Oh, he's lighting the Musashi on fire anyway. Okay, now we will deploy our last heal. We're going to lose this game for sure. Yeah, we are going to lose this game so horrifically. This Republic is going to push in and die. And we've already lost three ships. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Wait for the Bayard to maneuver a different way. Are you going to do it? Are you going to commit to that? Or are you going to turn back in? He's going to turn back in, that little shit. Maybe Iowa will... Or wait, no, maybe he is committing. No, he's not. He's turning in, turning in. Stop wiggling and jiggling yourself. Shoot at him. And... I don't think that was enough lead. Oh, of course, he switches his fire right back to me. Why wouldn't he? I've only got 13,000 HP. Republic, uh, well, he's safe anyway. I feel like shooting at Bayard is, uh, 
Not very lucrative, but probably the best thing to do. Musashi, though, if he's got his guns trained on Republic, does he turn a little bit? Okay, well, nope. He's gonna shoot at me before he turns, and then he's gonna turn. Okay. Well, that's satisfying. Kind of, but, uh... That doesn't look good. Is he shoot... Oh, no, that was his secondaries, right? Whoa. That's not what I wanted to do. I thought I just saw him shoot HE at the... No, it's the Republic that's shooting HE at him. Switch to AP! He's giving you the cheek. He's giving you... You're the Republic. You got 18-inch guns. 17. Bigger than 16-inch guns. Yeah. Musashi is actually going to ram him. He's actually going to ram. He would have rammed, too. Hmm. Well, I told you we were going to lose this one. Okay, so uh, apparently I cannot play the Amagi or the Ki. They are uh, both losing in battle. Both of them actually um, are trash, so... Probably best not to play them. Just kidding, they're, they're decent ships. Is the Friesland a good battleship? Yeah, it's a great battleship. In fact, in fact, it's such a great battleship that we'll play it next. That's the small end, though. Oh, okay. Wait, did we win the... Oh, we won the key battle. And I was not even the bottom of the leaderboard. Impressive. Jaeger Friesland. Aha. Hello, Thunder One. Thunder Own. How do you how are you supposed to pronounce your name? Jaeger Jaeger. Double Jaeger. Ostergotland Z forty four. Well, uh, Jaegers uh, are not known to be very good gunboats. Yeah, that's flatlined. He's uh, he's new to the game. Is there a way to refuel the boats? Yes, uh, you have to produce a lot of salt uh, with um, with your tears. And that, uh, that is how the ships are powered in this game. With salty tears. So you're gonna, you're gonna have to find a way to, um, produce those. What I recommend is, uh, you load into standard battle and you just make sure you get on the blue team. That should, uh, that should be good enough to kickstart the, uh, production. That's my method, anyway. What is with me? It's a Schroeder. That's generous, isn't it? Provide cover for the Friesland? That's nice. I'm glad, I am very, very glad that the Dyson is not the next campaign ship in the update. And who knows, maybe it'll, maybe the IJN new cruiser line will be good. And it's also nice that we get a a new April Fools um, thing that isn't racing legends. You have a power outage. That is uh, unfortunate. 
So we got one of the Jaegers in here with us, huh? Is there anything else? You you want to actually shoot at me though? Smoked up because it's Massachusetts. Still in the cap. Smoked up though. If I. Yeah, okay. Bad idea then. Jesus, if only my teammates, except for the cruiser, had not completely abandoned this cap. Are there torpedoes astern? Thanks for the warning, game. I don't think that's good for your HP. Kinda, I kind of don't think you should do this, Mr. Schroeder. I think uh, you're going to regret this. Z4... What the hell? They were all here the whole time? All, all three out of four of them? Oh, there's a whole ass battleship out here. I didn't even notice that. Nice work. All right. Well, I guess we pursue the Z44. Our team has taken the lead. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes to port. Uh, I guess the the Schroeder has used my fuck smoke screen to uh take the cap okay i mean that's good thought i was dead there Engine boost deactivated. are you gonna shoot me with your gun z44 come on it'd be an even fight uh i don't think we want to shoot massachusetts we do want to shoot that though I guess there's no real point in pushing into the Z44 then. Farm the Massachusetts, it's easier. You're getting too far away though, stop running. That's right, enemy destroyer blow. Okay, well, I I will stop uh, shooting then. It's fine though. 
Unless they can shoot. Okay, they can't. Oh, they can. Shit. Am I dead? No. Good, good. Wouldn't have mattered anyway, but it's better to not die. See if you can shoot me in the smoke screen, Flanders. Is he turning into those torps or did the DD miss? I think he missed. Why are you smoking up? Oh, to shoot, I guess. Oh, shit. Get the kill? Nope. You oink the kill on Massachusetts? It'd probably help if I didn't sail out of main battery firing range. Well. How long am I going to stream? I usually go around three hours, so probably at least that long. Oh, look at that. Cuniberti. Number one. Maybe those ships don't need buffs. Somebody said Adriatico, right? Hello, Iron Man. Go with, uh, yeah, this build's fine, probably. Why would I want my power to go out? That sounds bad. I enjoy having the internet and electricity. I'm glad, too, that they are changing the spawns on this map. I hate the spawns on this map. Leone needed a buff. I really hope that helps improve the ship. It should get the reload time on the main guns down to something like halfway reasonable. I do not really know anything about South Africa. Hmm. I do not have a lot of power outages, thankfully. Is this guy AFK? Yeah, exactly, because it spawns everybody, like, right in the center. And I don't know what it is about this game, but people never push out onto the flanks. They just don't. I don't know why, but they don't. And it's not just on this map, either. It's like any map. It's like they think the, the ships have one direction, forward, backward. Never can we make a turn to port or starboard. It's just impossible or something. I don't, I don't understand it.
Get ready, though. You're about to all be intimidated by the, um, by the scary barking of Brutus. Uh, okay. I have terrible concealment. Maybe I'll shoot at the constellation. DD no longer in the cap. I'm absolutely shocked that what the hell just shot at me from over there. I'm shocked that neither this uh, constellation or this other BB want to shoot at me. I mean, I'm not that shocked. It's just usually it's the blue team who's not shooting the spotted DDs, so it's a little bit weird when you... There we go. Okay. That's what I thought. Eventually he would shoot. Well, we'll run away, see if I can go dark and then turn back in. There we go. I am not going to get 150,000 damage and a Kraken in this thing. I might get some decent XP, though, if I can beat the shit out of a couple of these enemy DDs. Which is uh, a, a possibility with Sap. Now I'm located. I would think the enemy DD is probably somewhere over here. Oh, look at that. I was right. I didn't expect him to be that close, though. Oh, this is such a bad time. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, all right. I'm gonna have to smoke up though. I doubt these torpedoes are gonna do anything, but they're going that way nevertheless. I, am I fast enough with my engine broken to not get hit by these? Yeah, okay. Gotta get away from this anchorage, though. Maybe I'll try to kill the Summers. You know what, though? I think I need to change this build. I think I need to change this build. In one specific way. Need to change one of the inspirations on this commander. They're all fucking dying. Why are they all dying? We're not... We're gonna lose. Uh-oh. Some somebody home, Brutus? Oh Jesus. Brutus just banged his head right into my mic. Very ferocious dog, that little Chihuahua. Extremely intimidating. So the summers I think is in here. I don't know, though. I mean, there's no way he's still, like, sitting right there, right? No, he definitely is. That didn't kill him. Oh, 
it doesn't matter because we're going to lose terribly. Are they life rafts on top of the guns? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what those are. No? He's a sleepy cat. Cat did not wake up for Nick coming home. Brutus did. Brutus was very excited as you, I'm sure as you all heard, probably heard the thunk as he banged his little chihuahua noggin on the uh, microphone. He's a bit of a klutz. Well, maybe we can, what are, what the fuck now? What now? One of these DDs right there, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do something different with the inspiration on these, uh, this commander. Ouch. What the actual fucking fuck? Okay. I, I had, I guess he was last spotted, like, right here. But, um, I didn't think he would sail over here and pop out from uh, behind that rock. I was not expecting that. But anyway, I think instead of having Mordoff on here, I think it is necessary to put different inspiration one that I don't think many people think about, but did you see how inaccurate those shells were? Well, what if we put on Arlie Burke? That, I think, will help. I think that will help the ship. And if the reload's getting buffed anyway, then that's probably going to be a better build cuz um cuz yeah those shells are very inaccurate so i think that may help but what to play now since that was such a shit game i i think it is noticeable because i know exactly what to play next I think, unless I've changed things, but I think, oh no, I've changed things. Cause I was running Burke on here at one, oh no, this is what I'm doing. I'm running main battery shell grouping with this on Kaba. Because the, the guns are very inaccurate. Maybe I should not do that. It does nerf the HP a little bit. Nah, eh, whatever. Just got to, I think my cat is, what is it? He's just like one of those striped cats, except he's not orange. He's like uh, gray. What the actual fuck? What is this? What is this nonsense? It's an entire PlayStation lobby. Which one of these, which one of these lovely individuals turned off the crossplay? I'm going to court martial them and they're they'll be sentenced to death. The sentence will already be predetermined. Who has turned off the cross play? It is 6:30 Eastern time on a Friday. And they have turned off the cross play. I don't know. It's been happening more often lately, and it's extremely annoying. Area. 
I just assume that whoever turned off crossplay is the bottom on the leaderboard by the time the game ends because, well, you there's a couple reasons why you might turn off crossplay. You might, um, for example, you might have played a lot of online games, and you might think, you know, turning off crossplay is a good thing because it could be in some games, like maybe first-person shooters. If you're on a console and you're playing against uh, people that are on a PC with a keyboard and mouse, maybe you would want to turn off crossplay for that. So maybe you just got players that are like, oh yeah, I turn off crossplay because I do it in all multiplayer games. And they just don't think about it more than that. But for the ones who are thinking about it, then there's only I think two possibilities. Number one, they're like, oh, the player base on the other console, bunch of, bunch of useless potatoes. I cannot play amongst the useless potatoes. Turn off crossplay, so I only get to play with people on my console. And that, um, well, there's no kind way to put it. That is an extremely stupid opinion to have. And there's no kind way to put that. The other thing, the other reason would be that they know that if they turn off crossplay, they are likely to get uh, not 9v9 matches. And so then they think, oh yes, if I don't get 9v9 matches, and it's like uh, 6v6 or whatever, then I'm going to have an easier time having an impact on the battle. And uh, there's, there's probably some truth to that. But uh, my response to that would be, uh, get good. Poor Wooster. Die? Yes. I don't know that I really want to... Oh, good. I don't have to. I was going to say, I don't really want to push into a Shimakaze because torpedoes, but... How many kills does this man have? Set 1,758. How many games have you played in the Shima, sir? You got to expand your horizons. This Shima has got to expand his... Oh, shit. He stopped. He's got to expand his horizons, you know? It's too many kills. He's played the ship probably 3,000 times. That is a conqueror, and that is actually pretty spooky. So, uh... Silence the guns for two seconds. Oh, he's shot. He shot AP. That's a conqueror. That's insane. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Gonna do some Kaba Torps. Maybe. What's he doing? He's turning that way. I think he's gonna commit. Yeah, he looks... He looks like he's going to commit. Have I watched Dune? No, I, I have not actually done that. I have been meaning to watch the first movie because I never did. Now that the uh, sequel is out, but I just have not done it yet. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. I hear it's very good. Come on, give me some torps. Yes, okay. Hello, Grand Admiral Thrawn. What has become? I thought um, I thought I had heard when they were first talking about mobile legends that. Um, that they were planning to basically discontinue Blitz. 
but maybe not. But I thought they were they were discontinuing Blitz or they don't own it anymore or something along those lines. So they wanted to bring this game to mobile to kind of replace that. Maybe not. I thought that was the I thought that was part of it though. Yes, Grand Admiral Thrawn, I do not see you in the chat very often. I hope whoever turned off crossplay in this match is on the red team, though. All right, Thrawn. If you don't want me to call you by your military titles, then fine. Just feel like if you achieve the rank of Grand Admiral, you know, it's a pretty high rank. What is that? That's a Brisbane. He's shooting at me. It's rude. It's extremely rude. Is he border humping? Fortunately, I don't think Kaba can citadel it at this range. Oh no, he's turning in though. Wonder where the other enemy DD is. I hope I don't get torped. I don't think there's any shot that these do a citadel. They are penning though. Kind of. Let me aim right. You know what? We'll do this. You wink the Yama? No, we won't. All right. We'll kill the gearing then. That's fine. Maybe if I get closer to the Brisbane, the um, the AP will do good things. Kaba AP, though, is not... It's no Kleber or Elbing AP. You probably will kill me if I get too close. Maybe not, though. Taking too much damage from the team. I think it'll be fine. Definitely the HE, though. And... Oh, nope. All right. Well. All right. Let's see who turned off crossplay. Either the Conqueror or the Yamato. How does the Yamato end up with zero XP, though? Hmm. How do you how did he end up with zero XP? He was playing, wasn't he? I think he was. He was definitely playing the game. But why did he come away with zero XP? Hmm. He left the game? Oh, maybe he left when he was sitting there getting shot by everybody at the back of the map. How pathetic. Schroeder. Rage quitting is pathetic. Play the game to its conclusion, or at least stay in your ship till you sink. Don't rage quit. Makes you... It's just, it's just pathetic is what it is. Just fucking grow up and take the losses, you know? Shit's not going to go your way. It can be frustrating, but fucking deal with it, you know? That's what I say. Just fucking deal with it. It's 
It's not pleasant. It's not great when it happens, but it happens. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. Someone in feedback on the Discord was saying if you're AFK three times, the account should be deleted. That's a little extreme, maybe, but... If you're constantly going AFK or leaving games early, there probably should be some kind of punishment for that. There are reasons why you might have to go AFK. For example, the other night, it was 11.30 at night, I was playing WoW's PC, right? And then all of a sudden, knock on the door. Somebody, well, not even a knock on the door. Somebody just walking around on the porch. 11.30 at night. Nick's like, why is there somebody on the porch? I was like, I don't know. I got my gun out. And then I had to leave the PC because I was like, who the fuck is on the porch at 11.30 at night? Oh, uh, it was somebody trying to deliver DoorDash to the wrong address. But anyway, I had to go AFK to investigate whether somebody was trying to break into my house or something. And uh, so I had to leave the PC running while the game was playing. And then when I got back, somebody in the chat was like, fuck you. I was playing the Rhode Island. They were like, fuck you, Rhode Island, AFK, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm sorry. Somebody was on my porch at 1130 at night. My bad for not playing the game, you know, for the two, one, two minutes it took me to investigate what the hell was going on, you know. But yeah, so that's all to say there are um there are reasons, legitimate reasons why you might go AFK. It is after all just a video game, but um uh there's also things like uh, disconnects. Oh, I just have a little um little 358. I think it's Smith and Wesson. It's a little gun. One day I'll get something a little bit more substantial. Nah, it's like a semi-auto pistol. It's not a revolver. But it's Smith & Wesson. It's just a little 358. Or 357, whatever it is. Um, smaller caliber. Or 38. What, whatever the hell it... I don't actually know. I'm drawing a blank. A butter knife? That's not really even effective for cutting a steak. All right, turpits. You probably think... Oh, God, what's that? You probably think you're a cool German battleship, but you don't have the secondaries of the Schroeder. Okay, well, I don't I don't like that there's an enemy Schroeder here now. Because he's using my own evil against me. Don't light me on fire with your Schroeder secondaries. Go away. Let me torture your turpits in peace. Trying to peacefully farm the turpits with my... Probably should pay attention to the map. Good thing the Alabama's not paying attention. Uh, no, actually, we probably don't shoot at him because then that attracts his attention and he wants to shoot back, and we don't want that. So we shoot at this guy. He is a real pain in the ass. Hopefully that's a perma fire on the turpits. Maybe. But now we shoot at Bama. We're gonna try to roll that tide all the way back to port. Unfortunate damage though. Ah, uh, you know what actually though? I probably don't want to turn in. I just, I just don't want to get within 6km of a Turpitz, you know?
Oh shit, I've probably left it too late to angle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I left it too late to angle, that's my fault. Uh, maybe Alabama though. Maybe Alabama. Nope, not Alabama. All right. Let me heal, please, game. Yes, okay. Oh, great. Oh, great. Well, I'm gonna die. I don't think I can survive the focus fire of Turpitz and uh, Schroeder. This guy's taking, like, no damage, though. Bits, though, I think might be on Permafire. Switch to the uh, HE. Uh, can I go dark? I don't think I can. I got like 510 HP left. Can I go dark? Uh, my concealment's 10.7. What the hell? Nobody's shooting at me. Okay, the turpits is. I shouldn't have said that. I dead? Yeah, figures. Unfortunate. I didn't think I was completely alone on this flank, though, but I guess, well, I guess I was. I guess Jean Barr's right here, but he's dead, too. wonder how this one's going to go. Hmm. Yeah, I have, um, I have Bismarck on there. Hmm. Got a bayonet from World War One. What's it play now? Oh, you know what we could play since Thrawn is here? Is, uh, this French destroyer here. You see? One of the unfinished French Le Hardy class destroyers. This is the best French destroyer in the game right now, I think. A good old pot of burning oil over the door. What is this, like the medieval times? Do you own a castle? You got like a gatehouse or something? Oh yeah, Home Alone, very good uh, how-to guide on home defense. Oh no, they have a Kaga. We should have a Saipan instead of a Lexington. I think you got to be careful if you're going to be traveling with a firearm because there are certain places where, like, it's a felony to carry a firearm, I think. Have I joined TFN? Is that the, um, the fleet network? I think so. I was kind of being a little bit sarcastic about the ZF6 being the best French DD. I do like it, though. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, you probably don't run into... Too many problems carrying a firearm in the south. It saddens you as it's un unironically true? Well, it might be. The French DDs are not in a not in the best state. I'd much rather play Kleber on the um, PC. Which I wouldn't say that about every ship in this game. 
PC is kind of a nightmare sometimes. A lot of the time, really. Um... Those are some slow torps. What is responsible for those? Definitely Merker. I bet those are Merker torps. Those things were slow as hell. Great, now we're going to have to smoke up. I don't want to smoke up. CV, spot the... Okay, we're going to have to smoke up. Damn it. Spot the Merker. What the actual hell? Did my torpedoes run out? That's annoying. Scone. Fucking torps. I wanted to take the center cap. I really did. Again, more. Am I aiming too high? What the hell? There we go. Did he DCP that? I think he did. Oh, shit. Don't shoot me, Azuma. I just needed to light a permafire on that Iowa. My business here is done. Turn back around. Oh, is Azuma not? Okay, good. He's not really paying too much attention. I think he is turning his guns. That's a lot of torpedoes. That is a lot of torpedoes. Shira oh, I guess it's Shiratsuyu. Hmm. I guess, are those torps that slow, though? Oh, shit. I don't know what that was. Whoops. I can launch blind torps, too. Maybe. Maybe these torps will hit. Reverse the butt back into the cap. Hopefully that Cracciolo in A gets dealt with. Seems like a bit of a problem. Yeah, does Shiratsuyu just have really slow torpedoes? Oh, one of our DDs is going after their CV. Eventually, I'll get back into this cap. Miyoko. Is Shira still in the cap? No. He left the cap. That is good. He's probably going to 
torpedo again. Uh, I would not be surprised if the scone or whatever it is can get the torpedo reload down to 43 seconds. A lot of the, most of those um, pan euro DDs have really fast torpedo reloads if you build it with the mods and use um, Stig as the commander. That probably is how you should build the line, too, because they kind of are torpedo boats. Small end, not as much. Space fishy. Extra speed. 90, like three knot torpedoes or something, probably. Shiratsuyu torpedoes at 66 knots. Maybe it's the unupgraded version. Those just look slow. That's why I thought they were the Merkers, because the Merker has some slow torps, I think. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? It's hard to keep track of all the numbers in this game. 96 knots. That's ridiculous. I remember back in the day when Udachi Screamer Torps were like the fastest torpedoes that existed. Is he gonna... Like, he's gonna have to turn. He's either gonna have to go that way around the island or he's gonna have to go forward. Can we... I mean, if he's gonna be spotted by the CV, what's this destroyer? Oh. Because I could smoke up and... Uh, alright. I'll shoot at him, but he needs to remain spotted. I can't just do open water gunboat. There we go. I didn't expect those torps to hit. Uh, but, Mr. Miyoko, could I persuade you to give me a little bit more angle? Or a little bit less angle? There we go. And just a little bit more than that. Eh, actually, it'll be fine. It'll work. Okay. I was not expecting that, I will admit. Maybe I should use the reload booster, but I was hoping to save that for whatever this DD is. Well, oh, and he's the last one left alive. Use them or lose them, indeed. Torpedoes. You got to die hard earlier in the second funniest way possible. Oh, three out of four blue DDs survived. That's good. Where are you at, little scone guy? There you are. Oh, 
Oh yeah, a little, little scony. Uh, is the CV, the CV's not gonna get him. Oh, he did. Okay. Never mind. I thought the CV dropped those torps way too close, but I guess not. Well, not a bad result for the best French destroyer in the game. Not a bad result. Oh, I wasn't really going to do any divisions in this... What are these boxes? In this stream. Even if I could, I wouldn't be able to hear anybody. I think... I kind of want to play Duncan. Oh, and don't you find out in five minutes, Thrawn, whether you, whether you win the contest? Terrible lie. That's a song by Nine Inch Nails. As soon as you said terrible liar, I just thought of terrible lie by Nine Inch Nails. Hopefully you, even if you don't win the top prize, maybe you'll like win something and they'll give you freebies for the PC, which will help you. Is oh, look, there you are. Um, maybe you'll win like something. Wait, we only have one DD. That's not good. I hope he doesn't drive up the middle. Because I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to go to the west. Let's get to it. Is he playing the game? His guns are turning. I don't know, I just don't think the Duncan is really the ship you want to take up the channel in Two Brothers, mostly due to it has no armor. They post advice, or they post on Reddit seeking advice on whether they should quit playing or not. I don't know why you would seek advice about that. That seems like a personal decision. Oh, I'm sure they want, everybody wants attention and to be validated. They also want to be like, oh, Wargaming Shadow Nerf ships, because my favorite ship is bad dispersion all of a sudden. Or, uh, oh man, torpedoes, they're invisible. I saw that on Facebook the other day. It's like, how did torpedoes come through an island or something? Some kind of post about... How could these torpedoes possibly have hit him? And it's like, I'm sorry, you know, but I don't think your eyes are interpreting reality. You, you've misidentified something. The entire enemy team just... Uh, my mistake. What did I just get spotted by? Was it it must have been the GK. Hopefully I don't have to worry about that um Minnesota. Um what is Columbo about to do? Is he about to push straight in? 
Because I feel like you don't want to do that. Well, maybe. I mean, the enemy team has abandoned the flank for one reason or another. Oh, he's got the secondaries working on the GK. I need to finish that bureau project. All right. It is good. It is good that there are more people playing the game. What is that? Schroeder. But yeah, it's good that more people are playing the game and people are on Reddit sincerely asking for advice and knowledge and all that stuff. That's good. It's not a bad thing. But at the same time... At the same time, there are a lot of people on the forums who, um, who don't understand the game as well as they think they do and uh, just want to basically scream at you about how much they don't understand the game. That I that gets a little, you know, gets a little irritating. You know, that was painful, actually. What the fuck? Is that the GK? Speed is my armor, though. Yeah, I kind of figured this was going to happen to the Columbo if he pushed Bow in. He needs support. This is going to be a really stale match. Need to actually increase the distance here a little bit. Oh, come on. But yeah, I um, I figured this would probably happen to Columbo. Now we don't have vision of anything. I just think, I just think not that many people who have um, an opinion shouldn't express their opinion. That That's fine. Anybody can express whatever opinion they want about anything. However, what I do think is that... Um, we need to get away from the idea that everybody's opinion is valid, because that is not true. There are, in fact, invalid opinions. Maybe this will get the GK? Not quite. I 
I just realized, is that guy's, is that guy's name supposed to be Ass Bush Wookie? Hmm. Did I like lose all my HP? I don't think I can heal anymore, can I? No. Sad. Oh shit, our flank on the other side of the map is gone. That is not good. We're gonna need to turn around. We're gonna need to turn around and go to that. We lost our DD though. Which is really bad, because the enemy DD is in our base. A bush? Wook I don't know. I think they come from the planet Kashyyyk. It's a very green place. I wonder if the Wookiee will spot the DD. I think what's going to happen is probably these two are going to die and then we're going to lose. How nice would it be if we did more damage to Yamato than that? The enemy team has taken the lead. The enemy team has taken the lead. Oh no. Oh, yes, we've destroyed an enemy battleship. Oh, jolly good, sir. Um, that's not good. I don't want to be shot at by the HE of a cruiser that I cannot see. And I bet that is, I bet that is the Ibuki. Because, yep, still alive. Bet that's what that is. I can tell because the guns are like really accurate. That is not the Ibuki. That's the GK. Um. Okay. What is this destroyer? It's a small end. That is actually pretty scary. Oh, and we have a Zao. It's unfortunate. I was hoping it'd be something with radar. You're still... Are you ever gonna... Um, get back into the CC program? I don't know that I always know how to play. Fucked up a couple times. Ah, yes, I knew it. It was the Ibuki. I knew it. Oh, he's dead. Well, that's good. No offense, Thrawn. Oh, I'm dead now. The Columbo just, uh... Well, it's to be expected. The Citadel is, uh... Highly accessible on that ship. So, yeah, we lose. 
They said right after they get 60 FPS at 4K on PS5 working. Huh. But yeah, you see, um, what happens is if you play the Duncan and uh, you, you point your bow at a GK that you can't see, or a Columbo, rather, well... He's got guns big enough to overmatch that bow, and I would show you how big the Citadel is, but the ship is still in battle, and for some reason you can't look at the armor while the ship is in battle, which, uh, I guess that makes sense. Play the Schultz? That is actually what I started the stream with, but honestly, I love the Schultz so much that I will play it again. Because I like it. It's a fun ship. It's very good. Champagne? All right, play champagne after this. You know what T. Kana also said back in the day? Back when the GK was first released, he said, no, we're never buffing the secondary range on GK because we want the Bismarck to be unique. And besides, the GK would be overpowered if it had good secondaries. And then, very next update, they buffed the range on the secondaries. But not so for the, um, the 4K 60 FPS. What do we have? Shima and Elbing. What? Good luck? Good luck, Schlieffen. And the, it's been a while, actually, since I played the Ruprecht. That might be fun. You know this um, Carl the 14th Johan that we're about to get is kind of like the Ruprecht. Looks a little bit like it. But it is not quite the Ruprecht. It's a very weird ship, in fact. Got it around the Christmas times on World of Warships PC, and it is the weirdest battleship you've ever seen. Because it kind of looks like a Ruprecht, but it's got 12, 305, I'm going to get radar millimeter guns. And... Maybe I'm not going to get radar He doesn't want to use it unless he can... Oh, okay, no, he does. Maybe I should just shoot back at him. I don't... Is there anything else here? Oh, there is. A Wooster. Well, okay. Stalingrad gets one more salvo and then his radar goes out. He switched to HE. How dare he. Uh, okay. Schlieffen. Do these torps have the range, though? I don't... Well, even if they do, did he dodge them? Yeah. Nice Stalingrad-sized gap. Well, at least we know he's used his radar. And I think it's going to take a while before Wooster gets close enough to use his, so... Can we Citadel with Stalingrad at this kind of range? Any DD could possibly do that. It would be this one. Or the Elving. Three Shatters, though, so I think probably we cannot Citadel him at that range. Try that again. Mm. No, two shatters. Okay. We just don't have the pen. But I think that is the end of Stalingrad. Okay. Uh, now, Schlieffen. Right, right, right. Gotta be careful of Schlieffen. 
I think, speaking of which, I think uh, Friendly Schlieffen is going to eat those torpedoes, but put them out there anyway. But I think it would be foolish to probably actually shoot at the Schlieffen with the main battery due to uh, secondaries. And I don't think I bled those torps enough anyway. Maybe I did. Did Friendly Schlieffen not eat them? Oh shit, are they actually gonna... Oh, okay. Alright, I will, I will take that. I will take that. I will kill the Schlieffen now. Okay. Uh, thanks, Wooster. Sure thing. Sure thing, little buddy. I will come support you, but you're going to have to deal with the enemy, Wooster. Probably. Oh, I think you're a little too early on the radar, unfortunately. The DD is there, but not quite in your range, I think. Yeah, it's 150 millimeter guns. But it does have, like, uh... Well, I mean, I guess these are cruiser caliber guns, technically. But I think they have a little bit more pen than your typical 150 millimeter cruiser. Oh, the, he caught the DD for like three seconds in his radar there, but unfortunate. Right, hopefully this Wooster on the enemy team turns broadside. If I shoot at him, though, he might decide to shoot at me rather than our Wooster, which could help. The real question is, though, if I go this way, will he turn to get more of his guns on target to me? No, he's going to turn the other way. Okay. Well, will you give broadside to me? Because I probably can Citadel a Wooster. All right. I don't know who this Wooster is, but I'm glad he's on this flank with me. You think WoW's mobile is going to cause the worst gameplay in video game history? I don't know about that. Didn't we just see the re-release of the um, classic Star Wars Battlefronts? I didn't play it, didn't buy it myself, but I did see some videos of what happens when you try to do the multiplayer on that game. And that was pretty bad. I think realistically the only the only real problem I see with the mobile is um and maybe I'm wrong about this but I think of mobile games like if you're going to play a mobile game like if you're at home and you've got a console and a phone and this game is on both the console and the phone probably to play it you would play it on the console but if you're going to play a mobile game, you're you're probably doing it like while you're, I don't know, while you're waiting at the doctor's office to go to an appointment or something. And like you load into one of these battles and they last, well, this one's not going to last for 15 minutes, but they last for 15 minutes. And what happens, you know, you're waiting to get in to see your doctor or whatever. You're trying to kill time playing Legends. And then they are like, okay, you're up now. The doctor will see you. Like, what do you do if you're seven minutes into a battle that's going to last for another seven minutes? Like, what do you do? You know? Um, you just stop the game and go AFK and go on with your business? It's kind of... 
I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I just think when you're playing uh, mobile games like that, you're doing it to kill time, and it's probably not the priority of whatever you're doing. So I think there's potential for people to be AFK more, maybe, with mobile, but who knows? We'll see. If it brings more players to the game overall, then that is not a bad thing. A game in the Azuma? Yeah, I'll play the Azuma. It's good shit. The Kaga. There is, thankfully, there is no Kaga in this match. Unfortunately, you will have to torture not my team with your Kaga, which is acceptable to me. Go, go out there and torture those reds. Oh, that's uh, it's a fancy Iowa camo, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's what I think, Richard. Because, yeah, 15-minute obligation. Just, I mean, WoW's Blitz, for example, I've played that. The uh, time on those matches, I think it's like 5v5 or 6v6 or something. It's smaller. And they've got like five-minute timers on their matches. I think. It's been a couple years since I played it, but... I think I'm remembering that correctly, and that makes sense on a mobile platform. You probably do want, you know, shorter five-minute games. I was really hoping for the dev strike, but okay. Maybe another opportunity. Susia is, um, you're going to spam Agincourt to welcome the new mobile players? Wow. Some seal clubbing. What happened to Kutuzov? Is he going to finish that turn? I think he might. Ah, uh, of course. Oh no, don't eat a torpedo, Friesland. I think we found the Kutuzov. Kind of figured that was not the ideal angle, I suppose. Great, now we lose vision. This uh, this plane that the Susia left needs to die. It's a very annoying plane. I think the Bismarck just shot though, so do the turn. Oh, I should have not shot and gone dark, but it's fine. Probably ought to use a heal. Hmm. Oh, I forgot Champagne has a reload booster now, so... That is incredibly disappointing. You can surely do better than that, Champagne. Come on. 7k against a Bismarck. There we go, that's better. Oh, he does do a lot of damage in return, though. Hello, T-Man.
maybe I'll take out Kamikaze after the... It's been a while since I played that ship, but maybe when Mobile gets released, take out the old Kamikaze for the ones that made it up to Tier 4. Ah, yes, the Yuke of Dork. Interesting British battleship. Okay. Probably shouldn't use the second heal just yet. Can I actually... I don't think I can land those shells. He's too far away. Maybe. Probably not. Yeah, he's too far away. Gonna be an uptick in new phone sales from all the players throwing their controllers. Eh. Reminds me of back in the day, shortly after the iPhone had first been released. It might have been like the second or third iPhone. One of my friends... This was when I was in high school, I think. One of my friends got an iPhone, and he got one of those um, cases, you know, those protective cases that are supposed to, you know, protect it from the shock of hitting the ground and all that kind of stuff. And he's like, this case is indestructible. And I was like, no, it was no, it's not. That's bullshit. And he's like, no, it's indestructible. I'm like... No, it's not indestructible. And he's like, I'll prove it. And so how did he decide to prove it? Well, he took his cased up um, brand new iPhone and we were in like the school parking lot, I think. And he just like uh, threw it as hard as he could on the ground. And then he picked it up and it was fine. And he's like, see, it's like indestructible. And I was like, yeah, it's still not indestructible. So... He proceeded to uh, demonstrate that it was indestructible by throwing it at the ground over and over again as hard as he could until uh, the phone broke. And I was like, well, told you, not indestructible. That'll do something. Probably not. Nope. Well, I just felt it was important for him to know at the time that the phone was not indestructible. It's not, you know. I advised him against his demonstrations, but... Well, oh, I, I haven't, um, I haven't seen really like anybody I graduated with in years. Oh my God. It's like they're presenting themselves. Hopefully that was enough to kill Kutuzov because I don't really want to be farmed by all that. Damn it. I think the iPhone 4 was the first iPhone I got. I remember the iPhone 5 being a pretty significant upgrade. And actually, I think the iPhone 5 was the only phone I've ever had where I did manage to shatter the screen. Happened to drop it one day, and I think it fell like on the hit the ground on like the corner of the phone 
and it shattered the whole screen, but coincidentally, by that time, I had already ordered a new iPhone 6, and it was only a couple days from being delivered, and so I only had to deal with the screen being shattered for, like, 24 hours. It's the only time I've ever really broken a phone, though. Maybe I should have shot at the Ganiza now. No, I don't regret shooting at the Iowa at all. Maybe pushing in here is inadvisable. I don't really know where the DD is. It, what are these guys focused on? I don't understand. What are they shooting at? That Iowa? Hmm. What? Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever actually bought insurance on a phone. Is that I would dead? I think it is. What? Oh yeah, shit. I should have been more cautious. That was a Jaeger that dev struck me? Man, I feel bad now. But I think we're going to win. You hated the iPhone 5? Hmm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, Azuma. That's what I was going to play next. Had to think there for a second. Zuma. That game could have been a lot better if I had followed my own advice and remembered that the destroyer was there. Where is the Azuma? It's a tier 7 premium. There it is. Uh, Dyson is a steel ship. I That's good. There's only like two steel ships, so there's probably some people that would like another steel ship, and I'm just Frankly, I'm just glad it's not the campaign reward ship because we've already had three tier eight IJN battleships be campaign reward ships in like the past year. There's Musashi, Iwami, Heisen. I'm just glad it's not the campaign ship. We didn't need, we did not need Musashi, Iwami, Heisen, and then Dyson as, uh, four campaign ships. So, But also, I don't really know anything about the ship. I have not seen it, really, in my travels on WoW's PC, and I don't own it. I don't think Musashi originally was a Tier 7 ship. I think it was one of the... I think it was the first Tier 8 campaign reward because I remember they're like okay we're gonna add tier 8 and everybody was like oh yes now I don't have to fight Yamato in my tier 7 battleship and then the very next update well Musashi I think they said they were going to fix some of the angling on these spawns, too. Yeah, Ray Pub was the first Tier 8. That was the very first Tier 8 campaign, and then right after that it was Musashi, wasn't it? Or was Hayate before that? Can't remember. Do I have... I have H-E. Oh, dear. Well, I'll shoot at the New Orleans anyway. He might not even react. Oh, he, um... Yeah, that's not good. And now you wish you had the H-E loaded. Or not. Oh, 
Hopefully that was the right lead. Hmm. Not quite. He probably would be dead if I had let it a little bit more. But just tier six cruiser doesn't have a heal, so. Uh. Hopefully that'll kill the Kagero. Oh, all right. All right, guns on this side then. I would, um, I would not sell any, uh, campaign ship. Or, it, or really any premium. It's the only reason I have any CVs in my port is because I still have all the premium CVs, but I sold all the tech tree ones. Anything I can even shoot? Is Iowa coming forward or is he doing the thing? Maybe I'll get into the cap. Yeah, that's why I like Hayate because it has good guns. I really don't like... I don't like destroyers whose main reliable, not even reliable source of damage is just torpedoes like the classic IJN line. I, I just don't like the entire line. I don't want to get torpedoed by mines. I really don't. Would not be enjoyable. Be like what's happening to that Iowa. Uh, he's gonna try to torp me, I'm sure, though. Oh, he launches the torps. Oh, he's turning around. Okay, well. Go this way. Now that I've got the sonar running. Maybe find that enemy DD. Or maybe get shots on the mines. I think I can sneak out of this cap through that gap there. But can we get the mines? Don't angle, though. Don't angle like that. Oh my god, it's an album laurels. Gotta kill that thing. Ah, oh, man, the DD. Oh, I'm gonna not take the cap. Actually, I probably should go forward because I bet the DD torped. I was going to, like, try to reverse, but... Nah. I was a little bit surprised to actually Citadel the Albemarle at that angle, but this is the Azuma.
Wow, another uh, really hopeless blowout. Eight minutes left on the clock still, and there's three, three of them alive on the reds. That's not great. It's not great. What is that cruiser? Oh, that's an Azuma. What is it doing all the way out there? He's turned away. That's to get closer. AA build on Cleveland. I took out the Cleveland for the first time in a while a couple days ago. Had a pretty decent game with it. Feels like Cleveland is a forgotten ship. Back in the day, everybody was playing Cleveland. Now you barely see them. Well, that was um, fun or something, I guess. Oh, yeah, I did say I would play a gear next time I stream, didn't I? I did say that. I feel like I said that last week on Friday, so yeah. I don't mind playing the A gear. It's a good, it's a good vessel. I wasn't, like, too warm on it when it was first released, but... Since then, I thought, yeah, this is a, a good ship. See, I can remember stuff sometimes. Trying to adjust my mic stand, but I think it was picking up the sounds. Great. Great, great, great. Saipan. Oh, look at that. Well, at least you're playing a respectable ship. And not the Saipan. That's a... That's a disrespectful ship. Holy world of cruisers. Four, eight? Eight cruisers? Wow. Nearly half, half the total ships in the match. Can, um, can the matchmaker not give me this map until Monday? That'd be nice. Just take the map out of the rotation until they fix the spawns on Monday. I don't think I can shoot over that. Are you going to... I don't want to run into this guy or necessarily go in front of him either. Sorry about this, Tulsa. The hell? We have a broadside somewhere, right? Constellation. I want to get up to the flank, though. What I don't want, though, is to be blapped by Constellation. 
So I'm going to turn around behind this island since the fun police have decided to start their patrol. Yeah, we'll go around this island and then we'll start pushing in. That's what we'll do. My god, look at the texture quality in this game. It never ceases to blow my mind. God, the textures. Look at them. Like oil. Oil and dirt. That's what they look like. I don't even know why. Textures here look... Well, they look okay if you don't zoom in. But surely, I cannot be the only one. No, I don't want to switch to PC. That would, uh, I play it, you know, but, um, but no. Although the visuals are highly nice. Eventually, this game will look as nice, probably. Oh, all the enemy ships are dying. Am I supposed to zoom in at ships? Probably. They do. U-182, they do indeed. They also, like, ostensibly nerfed subs, but they gave them ridiculous buffs to their maneuverability. Ah, uh, shit. I hope I don't eat all the damage in the world from this. Okay, good. Oh, I was thinking I was going to push into this battleship and maybe get some torpedo action, but then I realized it's actually an Odin. Not ideal. Hello, Fog. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're nerfs, but I don't know how it really is a nerf if you make their turning circles like 200 meters and they've got like half a second rudder shift. I don't think that's really a nerf per se. Seems like a buff. That's always satisfying. I wonder if Odin knows the A-gear has torpedoes. Oh, he's going to turn. Oh, and he's going to be irritating with his secondaries. Imagine if this thing had proper secondary range. Then it would probably be too good. I was really hoping one of those torps was going to connect. I really was hoping that, but no. What is that? Jutland. Don't shoot at me, Jutland. Be gone. I will not. Uh, is Odin... Okay, is Odin not looking at me anymore? Is he looking at Tulsa? Can I dare turn broadside? Probably not a good idea. He did launch his torps. He launched his torps at the fleeing Tulsa, though. That's not ideal. Certainly. Certainly. 
and good. He shot at the Tulsa and not me. I appreciate that. Probably ought to turn on the sonar. Oh, did he launch his other torps at the Tulsa and not me? Excellent. Well, now you can have the power of A-gear secondaries. Well, this was a sad match for the Reds. This was worse than the last one. Not a single blue ship sunk. All of the Reds dead, except for this Jutland in the CV. I was not really expecting to be able to yoink that particular kill, but I will take it. Hello, Asif. I'm all right. Would prefer it if these matches were, like, slightly more competitive than they have been, but don't worry. I'm sure it'll get worse when the update drops on Monday. Another thing is you ground around 300 ships on PC. It's easier to grind the ships on PC. They have um they have more lucrative like XP bonuses and stuff like what's the maximum ship XP bonus you can get on legends? If I convert just a couple of these things. Uh, okay, so plus 100%. So the maximum, like, ship XP bonus you can get on PC is, like, 1,600%. And if you pop one of those on there, I mean, you could go from Tier 1 to Tier 10 in, like, 15, 20 games. As long as you, like, play decently well. But you don't even necessarily have to play decently well. You can put one of those um, 1,600 XP boosters on there and get, like, a really mediocre result and still get, like, 50,000 ship XP in a single game, even on a fairly mediocre result. It, it does not take long to grind up those lines if you, um, if you use the boosters. Even the um, 800, the blue... XP boosters on PC, they do 800%. Even those you can grind pretty quickly with. And those are even easier to get. The the 1600 ones, you really cannot get them without spending money. The blue ones, you can... The 800% ones, you can get for free a lot of the time. So yeah, it's, it's definitely easier to grind on PC. Uh, the commanders are... Yeah, because... Basically, you can't, like, if I wanted to remove, if I'm on PC and I wanted to remove this guy from the Sejong, say, and put him on, um, I don't know, the Harbin or something, well, he's trained for the Sejong, so if I'm going to put him on the Harbin, then I've got to either pay, like, 500 doubloons to train him for the ship, or I've got to pay several thousand commander XP, or I've got to like grind out commander xp while he's on the ship before his skills activate so that's annoying that is annoying i guess i'll play say jong while we're at it at the same time though i don't know there are some good skills on the commanders on pc and we just don't have the equivalents so there's that aspect to it but Yeah, you can put the commanders on the premiums for free. That's part of the bonus of a premium ship on there. You don't have to pay anything to train the commanders for it. And that's kind of the idea. It's like you get a premium ship, you play that, you grind out commander XP to level up your commander. Then you put them on a tech tree ship. It is annoying, 
But at the same time, you you rack up so much commander XP, and you also rack up so much. Uh, they call it free XP. It'd be global XP for us. You rack up so much of that, though, with the bonuses. The economies are very different between the two games. This one... This one takes a lot longer to grind, I would say. But at the same time, there's, like, so much fucking bullshit... <laughs> on PC. It's unreal. Oh, are you on the enemy team? Oh, you're in the constellation again. Roma, I suppose. I don't know that the players are, like, worse on... PC, you um, you see similar levels of potatoing. Do I need to smoke up? I was hoping to avoid that. Why is the Z-23 spotted? Hopefully those torps will catch the Schroeder. Somebody's got those Dave Mustaine shells, I see. Kill him, please. All right. Well, the Schroeder never came around the corner. I don't know. I mean, we're off to an all right start, but not our Kagero. He's looking a little worse for wear. I really don't want to smoke up here either, but... Maybe I don't have to. Somebody's probably going to dev strike this Marlboro. I might have to smoke up. Another one? What is this? Atlantico? Shit. Go a little further forward, Marlboro. Just a little bit. Let one of those torpedoes get you. Give me one torpid. Yeah, there we go. Sejong is such a crazy ship. I love it. Oh, no. Schroeder, this is so inconvenient for you to... Oh, shit. I didn't mean to hit the reload booster. I meant to hit the heal. Damn it. Just wasted a reload booster. What the hell? I think we probably got to run away because I'm not going to have any vision of anything. Well, maybe. Gotta be mindful of that DD for sure, though. It's gonna torpedo me. What is it, Jaeger? All right. We're gonna get out of this smoke. Oh, never mind. We're fine. For the moment, anyway.
think that main DCP to single fire. I think that's who I lit that fire. Maybe not. Do I get spotted when I leave? Yeah, that's to be expected, I suppose. Main accelerates. I'll put some torpedoes through that gap. We do have to run away. Hopefully, hopefully I can go dark. Don't want to shoot the guns. Yeah, yeah, torpedoes astern. Oh, he's gonna actually shoot? Well, we'll go dark. Okay. The main is not. Lantico is headed that way, though. Shoot me again. Oh, okay. Heard that spotting ribbon sound, and I was like, there's no way. He is very annoyingly keeping me perma-spotted, though, which is kind of a problem. I guess I might as well shoot if I'm never going to be able to go dark. I suppose I could smoke up. Too much lead on those torps, huh? Well, all right. Oh, wait, no, we do get one. Okay. Still a little too much lead on the torps. This Jaeger is close enough to me to spot me through the smoke because of the firing penalty. Are you kidding? Take the cap. Take the cap. die, but Jesus, how many torpedoes does this thing have? Shit, I think we might be dead now. Yeah. Well. It's fine. I mean, we're going to win. That was a decent game, at least. I guess the Jaeger finally got me. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it does have a torpedo reload booster, doesn't it? I think it does, right? That makes sense. Yeah, it does. It's like, geez, he's got such a fast reload. But no, he's got the consumable. All right. What's a play now, then? Sejong is always fun, though. It's always fun. Chengmu? It's kind of like Sejong, I guess. Chung Mu. There it is. There it is. Oh, fuck. I forgot. Roma. Roma. 
I will play Roma after this one. Roma. If I say it like three more times, I'll remember. Play the Roma. Leone needed a buff. Very exciting. Also, I'll be streaming on Monday when the update drops and should be able to go for a decent amount of time. Yeah, it should be fun testing out all the new ships on stream on Monday. I'm sure the games will go at least as well as these ones have. Do we have to worry about radar? Maybe. Small end. I don't... I don't think Roma has improved pen angles. Maybe it does. They buffed it a while ago, and I don't remember what they did. They gave it the smoke screen, but... There's a lot of DDs in this game. My torpedoes can't do anything to them. Is he... Oh, shit. It's the small end. Of course it is. Well, I do have a smoke. Shit, we're still... How long is this radar? It's only like three seconds, isn't it? There we go. Wow, I lost all my HP, though. Small end is dangerous. Smallend is a dangerous ship. You know what? We're gonna flood this gap with Torps for Schroeder and maybe Brandenburg if he decides to go forward. I don't think we have to worry about torpedoes from Smallend. And I don't think... Well, I don't know where the third destroyer is, but two of them are by A, so... Can I... Get vision? Okay, there's Schroeder. All the torpedoes miss, but it's fine. He's not going to come into the cap, is he? I mean, we've got three battleships there. Maybe the DD Torps? Come on, surely. One, two. Not quite enough. He is about to spot me. How is he still alive? is your problem, Hayate? I 
He must be mad that I got the kill. I should not DM the Hayate. Why would I do that? A Rick roll? Hmm. Like, sorry, I got the kill. I mean, I had to shoot him. Nobody else was killing him, and he was spotting me. He had to go. He had to be dealt with. Why is the Pomeran throwing away his ship? I guess it doesn't matter because we're going to win, but... Maybe he's not throwing away his ship if he gets a little closer to that island. I'd like to be able to, like, use these torps. Maybe I should just smoke up and farm with the guns, but... We'll go this way. There's a DD over there, but maybe I can get some torps on something. These torpedoes are very satisfying. Can I actually... Yeah, I can. Okay. That's good. Not going to have enough range, I guess. I oh, need DCP'd. Oh, that's main. Okay. Yeah, I can't imagine being so tilted about missing a kill that you're like, ah, fuck my teammate. I get it if you're like on four kills and you're trying to get a Kraken or something, then yeah, it'd be annoying, but two seconds into the game, nah. I guess we'll go after the DD. We might be able to kill it without me dying in the process. That would be good. Z44, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't really want to get hit by the Brandenburg secondaries, though. That could be a problem. is too far away. Brandenburg's, I think, going to be killed by whatever's in C. Maybe at some point we'll catch up to the DD. Or maybe the game will end. You think the Tiger 59 is a fantastic ship? It is good at killing destroyers. I was just thinking about Roma. I was thinking, okay, this game's over. What am I going to play next? Roma. Maybe I should shoot at the main a little bit just because maybe one of the DDs will shoot at me I'll wait though and now who cares oh he 
got somebody. I don't need him to shoot at me, though. I was debating on my with myself, should I clip that and send it to Wargaming? But, I don't know. He had such little impact on the battle, and his griefing of me was also so impotent that it's probably not even worth reporting it to Wargaming. But, yeah, I don't know. Fucking grow up. How about that? Fucking nonsense, some of these people. Roma. Yeah, exactly, Alpha. Roma. Fuck. Did they do anything about the spawns on this map? Alright. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go around the island. Yeah, that one kill. But yeah, we're going to go around this island because we're not going to push straight in and then get trapped where we're like pointing our bows at whatever the hell is over there. And then. Oh, Jesus. That's uh, that's not how you want to start a game. Oh, man, that's painful. All right, and then we'll turn around this island. We'll, like, get in here between this island and this island. Except, I think there may, in fact, be a DD there. Probably Udachi. Wait, Udachi's divisioned with... Yeah, it's Udachi, I bet. Fuck. Um, okay. And there is no way I can... No way I can really push in, surely. You know what we're gonna do? I'm hesitant to fire my guns. Radar?
Radar? Radar. What the hell is radaring me? What I was going to try to do was um, get turned away. Can I go dark? Like, turn around here? Because, okay. Oh, shit. He shot, though. All right. He mostly missed. All right. I don't know where the DD is, but uh, I think I don't think you want to go that way, Minnesota. You can, but oh, probably we should shoot at the Bismarck. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think... What the fuck? What is all the... Okay. Is that the Udachi? Did he take the cap and then go over to B? Or is that the other destroyer that took C? Huh. Okay, maybe we do want to push into C then. Well, you probably should back up though. Okay, and then this guy, Missouri, is sailing the other way, so it's just whatever that Minnesota or whatever it was over there. Hopefully. Uh, okay, no, I think the DD is... There's definitely a DD here still, because it wasn't the Bismarck that spotted me, unless it's the Udachi. That could be. Firing penalty wears off. Okay, yeah, no, there is a DD here. I was right. Oh, and he's behind an island now. That is the one thing about these Italian BBs. Their guns are squishy. And I think we'll shoot, then angle in again, and probably slow it down. But I think what we'll do is smoke. Right now because I don't um, I want to make a drastic maneuver because I have no idea where this DD is so okay because I was going to say I don't want to just sail in a straight line so I was going to use the smoke and make a more drastic maneuver if it was necessary but I guess it's not what's that Missouri Um, okay. We need to take down Minnesota and not die to Missouri. He got his guns pointed here. Okay, that was not enough. Fuck. I do not want to be rammed. There's the DD. Shit. Don't ram me, Minnesota. Play with honor. Okay. Uh, I probably should shoot at that DD, but look at that. Oh, he didn't even torpedo me. Okay. I do want to get far away from that DD. It is an Elbing, though. It does have slow torps. Don't break my guns. Let's 
just too bad the Roma's secondaries suck. Is this guy gonna go for the ram? Please don't go for the ram. I really... Oh, we're both gonna go for the drive-by, I guess. Shit, I'm probably gonna lose. Oh no, I think he shot too early. His other gun is pointed the wrong way. Keep the turn. Elbing. There you are, you little terrorist. With your torpedoes. Ah, oh, I was really hoping that would kill him. Shit. Uh, we need Missouri dead. Okay. Wow, this is a close game. Take that cap. Uh, okay. What? What is our penalty for firing in smoke in the Roma? It is... Oh, wait, no, wrong button. It is, uh... 13.9. Okay. Good thing I checked. Hopefully I'm turned enough that there we go. They won't be able to damage me too much. All right. And okay. If I, maybe if I push in, I don't know. I mean, if I can maybe like kill one of them at least. Take the cap. Marco Polo, it's not the one with radar. That is Giuseppe, right? I think it is. Oh no, Marco. This is not good for you. I think I might have fucked it up, though. Oh no! Oh, I fucking fucked up the ram. I fucked up the ram. I barely got the drive-by on the Iowa. I really fucked up that ram. But it's fine. Looks like he's dead. 
probably from all these torps, right? Yeah. Jeez, that one looked, um... That one looked iffy for a while. Yeah, that looked iffy for a while. Um, I am surprised that we were able to turn that one around. So I'm going to save that. That might be good for a video. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that was um that was a pretty good one. Uh well I've got probably a couple more games. Maybe like two more. Actually, probably only one more game. I think I'm gonna go to Henri and then call it a night, but I will um of course stream on Monday when the update drops. So I'll be back soon. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it a night now after that one. All Roma gets is better accuracy. Yeah. The, um, the tech tree BBs have ridiculous smoke firing penalties. And they get um, sap secondaries, which are much better than Roma's. Roma's secondaries are more or less useless. Did have a well it could have been a good game in Champagne earlier. It kinda abruptly ended due to a rack of Jaeger Torps, but could have been a good game. Yeah, I ended up doing like 123,000 damage, and there was still a lot of damage left to get, but I ate an entire rack of Jaeger Torps, and it ended the game. It was very sad. I think Shima will provide us with vision. Have you gone back to the uh, the first game in the stream? Is that what that the Temeraire pinged the map to tell his div mate, which was you? Oh, okay, that makes sense. AFK BB. No, I think it's um, I think it was reversing. Oh, we don't get spotted. Interesting. I wonder. Well, I mean, as soon as Yamato shoots, though. Oh, well, I should have just kept shooting, I guess. Maybe these, some of these torps do the trick. Oh, hello there.
Hmm. And what do we... Oh, yeah, Shima. He can't really... He can't really do much about daring. All of those shells missed? Okay. Ouch. 7 shatters, okay. Okay, Mr. GK with your German armor. Okay, that's broadside. Oh, he accelerated. You shouldn't accelerate a gear. I should lead the shells more. Halfway decent damage. Can I go dark for a second? No, the daring's perma spotting me. Oh wait, no, we did go dark. Okay, but we're gonna turn this way. Blackbeard. Maybe we'll be able to do something about that daring. Jeez, like every ship is here. We've like completely run out of room on the map too. Maybe you should turn broadside, A gear. Ah, I'm like, we're completely trapped. This is probably not gonna end up being the last game then. I think we'll do one in the Charles Martel because this is gonna go south real quick here. Like I can't get out of this situation either. I don't know why this Yamato is requesting support so much. It's not gonna change anything. We're gonna die a horrible death. Uh, who knows? Ohio is gonna murder us. Ah, just kill me. Just do it. Wonder if these these torps probably will not hit GK. That sucks. But yeah, so uh, that that I guess will not be the last game because that was just terrible. So down to tier seven. Use the filters properly. Charles Martel. End on a classic. Oh, you got to get the San Louis. I did see that they're going to buff that, which is good. I think it could use a buff. All right. Although I think regardless of the results on this one, this really will be the last game, even if it is a terrible tragedy.
Gajimata. Gajimata is going to go in between A or B and C. Should give the Yolo Emilio sap. What is that? Is that Fletcher? Okay. Oh, thank you, Dark Man, for the uh, five gifted memberships there. Okay, Albemarle. It does already have sap reload shit. Am I dead? That is terrifying. Could have been way worse. Missouri's probably pissed. Missouri's an emoji lover, you know, he's spamming those angry emojis after the little damage that he got on that salvo, and I was like broadside too. Could have been a dev strike. What you don't want to do though, Albemarle, is give... There you... he's angling now, how dare you. I was going to say, what you don't want to do is give broadside to Charles Martel AP, but I guess he knows. He got the memo. Well, it wouldn't be a French cruiser if your rudder didn't get broken every time Michelle hit the back of the ship. Oh, did he lose vision because he's in the smoke? Oh, no. That's unfortunate. DD's trying to help him out, but... Like I said, um, it's very bad for your HP to give broadside to uh, the Charles Martel. I'm afraid you need to run, little cruiser. Oh, collector's edition summers, huh? Oh my god. He just wrecked... Oh my god, he wrecked the Fletcher. He absolutely wrecked the Fletcher. <laughs> War gaming, okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it, Dark Man. Okay. Mm I don't think the Fletcher is feeling too confident about maybe spotting the Summers since he lost all that HP. So I'll try to get a little bit closer to him and maybe, maybe be able to provide assistance. Oh shit, he's spotted. I wonder if that is because the Summers spot, oh no. Oh, and of course we lose vision of the Summers. Time to run. Don't worry, though. These three battleships are guarding the center of the map, and nothing's getting over there. And Summers is out of the smoke. I don't know. Maybe random lucky torpedo. North Carolina can probably kill me. We are now cross-fired between North Carolina and Missouri. Summer's lost vision again. Maybe North Carolina doesn't even have the range. Oh, 
Oh, we don't even get spotted. CP'd. Excellent time for reload boost unless we lose vision. Okay. Well, that I will take too, and I got the perma fire, so that's good. And you done, you done messed up, Summers. You done messed up. And now you will experience pain. Maybe. Ah, no. Not quite. Hold on, Brutus. Jesus. Well, I don't know. Probably these battleships. Oh, no. They're caught in a crossfire. How did that happen? Well, all right. Probably not the best game to end on. I think we'll call that a loss. But how did we do overall? So that's, if we count that battle, 18 games. Twelve out of eighteen. I think that's twelve out of eighteen. What is that? Twelve divided by one eight. Sixty six percent. Not bad. Certainly could have gone worse. Certainly could have gone a lot worse. Only Spartan tries to do this for a living. Yeah, I think so. I think Spartan's the only one that tries to do this for a living. I think the rest of us all have other jobs. But uh, I think that's it for tonight. I will be back, of course, on Monday to stream the update. And I am sure we will see a similar quality of games, although... I bet the uh, the win rate will be less than 66%. And MetaJerk is probably streaming tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific time. I will tune in if I can, but um, I guess everybody watch MetaJerk tomorrow, and I will see you again on Monday. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Have a good weekend, and uh, I'll see you for the update. Goodbye.